Imagine this, a colossal meteor hurtling through space at unimaginable speeds. It's on a collision course with Earth, and there's no stopping it. But what precautions can we take? What exactly happens when it makes contact? Let's find out. Meteors, also known as shooting stars, grace our night sky regularly. Our planet is just a tiny speck in the cosmos, constantly bombarded by space debris and meteors, most of which burn up harmlessly in our atmosphere. When a meteor approaches the Earth and starts to enter our atmosphere, it experiences a lot of resistance. This resistance is due to the air in the atmosphere, which causes friction. Because of this friction, the meteor heats up a lot, becoming very hot and starts to glow brightly, almost like a very bright shooting star in the sky. First, let's understand the scale. Meteors can range in size from small pebbles to massive space rocks spanning kilometers in diameter. The impact of a meteor depends largely on its size, composition, and speed. Micrometeorites are extremely small meteorites, often the size of a grain of sand or a pebble. They are usually less than two millimeters in diameter. Despite their small size, they are quite common and often go unnoticed. Small-sized meteorites can range from the size of a golf ball to that of a football. They are more noticeable when they fall to Earth and are often the ones found by meteorite hunters and enthusiasts. Medium-sized meteorites can be as big as a rock or even larger, up to the size of a small car. The Hoba meteorite in Namibia, for example, is one of the largest known meteorites on Earth, weighing about 60 tons and measuring roughly 2.7 meters by 2.7 meters. On rare occasions, meteorites can be large, such as the one believed to have caused the Chicxulub crater in the Yucatan Peninsula, which led to the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. This meteorite was estimated to be about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter. Scientists and space agencies around the world are actively monitoring near-Earth objects to predict and, if possible, prevent such catastrophic events. Technologies like NASA's DART mission aim to test methods of asteroid deflection, providing hope that one day we could protect our planet from such cosmic threats. If a meteor was detected approaching Earth, the response would involve several steps, often coordinated by international space agencies and governments. The primary goal would be to prevent the meteor from impacting Earth or to mitigate its effects. Here's an overview of the potential actions. Scientists would assess the size, composition, velocity, and trajectory of the meteor to determine the level of threat. This information is vital for planning an appropriate response. A situation involving a potentially dangerous meteor would likely lead to international collaboration. This could involve sharing data, resources, and expertise among various countries and space agencies. Governments and agencies would communicate with the public to provide accurate information. This would include information about the meteor, its potential impact, and the steps being taken. Treaties and agreements like the United Nations guidelines for the mitigation of asteroid impact threats, provide a framework for joint response. Another possibility is that the fact that a meteor will hit the Earth can be hidden from the public. People who think the world is about to end may become involved in looting. The social order may be turned upside down. Let's evaluate five different scenarios according to the size of the meteor. Small, medium, large, huge, and gigantic. Small meteors fall to the Earth all the time and you don't even know it. They just burn up and disappear in the atmosphere. Therefore, it is not exciting to evaluate this scenario. Let's consider a medium-sized meteor, about one kilometer in diameter, striking Earth. Something like this has happened many times before. The famous Tunguska event is a good example. In 1908, a medium-sized meteor fell in Siberia. If there's enough lead time, one strategy is to deflect the meteor from its earthbound trajectory. This could involve sending a spacecraft to collide with the meteor, altering its course. Alternatively, a spacecraft could fly alongside the meteor, using its gravitational pull to slowly alter the meteor's path. In some very serious situations, scientists and experts might consider the option of using a nuclear explosion as a method to interfere with or change the direction of a meteor. 
that could be heading towards Earth. This idea, however, is quite contentious and carries a lot of potential dangers. This type of explosion is known for its immense energy release, which could be effective in either breaking the meteor into smaller pieces or altering its course away from our planet. If the meteor is too close, preparation would focus on evacuation and emergency response in the affected areas. This could involve mass evacuations, securing critical infrastructure, and preparing for post-impact scenarios. Now, if this meteor is large, it will keep moving, falling towards the Earth's surface. If such a large meteor were to actually hit the Earth, the effects would be tremendously destructive, much like a very, very large disaster. The moment this large meteor strikes the Earth, it would be like countless nuclear bombs going off at the same time in terms of the energy released. This immense energy would create a huge hole or crater where it lands. This crater would be a permanent mark on the Earth's surface, a reminder of the meteor's impact. But the formation of the crater is just the beginning of the troubles the Earth would face. Right where the meteor hits, the destruction would be total. A gigantic fireball would form, vaporizing everything close to it. This would be followed by a massive earthquake, which would be felt far beyond the place of impact. Additionally, huge waves known as tsunamis could form and travel across oceans to distant shores. Even some volcanoes, which were quiet before, might get activated and start erupting lava. The long-term effects of such an impact would be just as harmful. A lot of dust and debris would be thrown up into the sky from the impact. This cloud of dust and debris would be so thick that it could block out sunlight, leading to what is known as an impact winter. During an impact winter, the blocked sunlight would cause temperatures to drop significantly all over the world, leading to a dramatic change in climate. This change could have very serious consequences for life on Earth, affecting weather patterns, food production, and the overall health of the planet's ecosystems. Crops would fail, temperatures would plummet, and ecosystems would be disrupted, leading to a mass extinction event reminiscent of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. Once the dust settles, Earth would have undergone a radical transformation. The impact crater remains as a haunting reminder of the event. Life on the planet would need to adapt to the new normal and recovery would take millions of years. Imagine a situation, although it's very unlikely, where a huge meteor comes towards the Earth. If such a huge meteor were to hit the Earth, it could potentially have an enormous impact on our planet, even to the extent of changing the path Earth follows around the Sun, known as its orbit. In such a dramatic scenario, there are mainly two things that might happen. The first possibility is that the Earth could be pushed towards the Sun. If this were to happen, it would be extremely dangerous, because getting too close to the sun would mean that the Earth would get very, very hot. The second possibility is that the Earth might be pushed away from the sun. In this case, the Earth would become what is known as a rogue planet, which means a planet that doesn't orbit a star like how Earth orbits the sun. Being far away from the sun, Earth would become extremely cold. In such a freezing world, surviving would be very difficult but not entirely impossible. People might find some warmth in places like hot springs, which are naturally warm areas found in some parts of the world. Now, let's consider an even more extreme case where the meteor is unbelievably gigantic, something like a dwarf planet. In this situation, the collision with such a massive meteor might be so powerful that it could break apart the Earth's crust. If it breaks apart, it would be like losing the ground under our feet. In such a catastrophic event, worrying about the Earth's orbit around the Sun might not even be relevant, as the immediate and direct destruction caused by the impact would be beyond our worst imaginations. In this scenario, governments would likely consider evacuating the Earth with as many people as possible. The first step would be identifying a suitable destination. Mars and Moon are the most likely candidates within our solar system. Deciding who would be evacuated would be an enormous ethical and logistical challenge. Criteria might include a diverse range of skills, genetic diversity, health status, age, and other factors crucial for establishing a sustainable population. What would happen to these people evacuated from Earth? 
For these survivors, long-term sustainability would be a critical issue. This includes growing food, managing water and air supplies, dealing with radiation exposure, and maintaining physical and mental health in a space environment. However, this topic is broad enough to be the subject of another video. To conclude, continuous research and development in asteroid detection and deflection technology are crucial. This includes better telescopes for detection and more advanced spacecraft for potential deflection missions. Until next time, keep looking up.